Hey, welcome back to Twin Flame Psychic 1111. I'm Karen. Today's reading is all about your Twin Flame Union. What is really going on in your connection right now? How do they truly feel about you? And what do you need to know from Spirit? I'm going to start off with these cards, which I haven't looked into. I haven't used these cards in a very long time. Just felt really drawn to them. So I feel like Spirit has very specific messages that they want to communicate what's really going on in your connection right now what do you need to know okay so we started off with this one here what do they need you to know Nurturate, nurturing a dedicated relationship. This is you and your person. Nurturing your divine bond. Connection, support and continuity. Wow. Again, this is both of you. And it shows a couple again, not all of these cards. A lot of them don't have couples on, but here we are again. It says honor, money and authority. Wow. So there's a lot of harmony, a lot of peace, dedication, nurturing, looking after this connection, supporting each other. This is the amazing, amazing harmony between you both. You're both very honourable. You could be seeing 33 as a number pattern. There's 16 and 6. You could be seeing 6s. Sixes. 6 is the number of love. Wow. There's so much beauty in your connection, okay? With these, these coins here and all this sunny yellow energy, there's just this perfect flow, this perfect harmony. You're both very mature souls. You're planting all these positive seeds. You really deeply, completely love and cherish and care for each other, care for each other's well-being. This is an indication of how well you know each other, way, way beyond this lifetime. Um, you are very old souls, you are one. Normally, because this is a plane of duality, and when you're not in this false matrix, you are one, your energies are just dancing, swirling around each other um, as one. So you really, really have a lot of empathy with each other. You just know what each other's needs are. Oh, everything just comes so naturally. So this is really indicating a lot of harmony, a lot of peace, a lot of abundance coming into your connection right now continuity and authority this is you both um, moving into your sovereignty this is one of the main reasons why your souls decided to meet in the human form in this earth school um, where well, one of the main lessons is duality you um, needed to remember the truth of oneness your souls were aching for each other your souls were calling out for each other, and that was the call for home um, to remember and be in the bliss through having released yourself and you're continuing to release yourselves from the false matrix prison, which is a prison of perception. So, wow, all of this partnership here, bunk beds. <laughs> This is really saying that um, you've always been close. You've always been at one. Your souls have always been in communi communion with each other, okay? Way, way beyond, well, the, for the whole time before you even met in the 3D. This is why there's an absolute explosion of awakening, of joy. And this continuity is like, you know, it's an infinite bond. It's the most natural thing ever. It feels, everything feels right 
this is yes, 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 okay. So much positivity here. It's really, really beautiful. Wow. Yeah, look, the butterfly, your soul's looking after each other, supporting each other so much. It's so beautiful. You're both so happy. So what is really going on right now? What does spirit need you to know? Yeah, look, the sun, happiness. Look, spirit was needing you both to wake up, okay? Point into the sun, source energy. The sun is that portal to higher, deeper dimensions. Pointing back home. So much happiness, so much joy. And this is about to deepen so much, okay? I feel like for some of you, you've been on a pause recently. Um, but there's no doubt for many of you over the past few months, you've both really, really been feeling how your connection has deepened so much. It's always deepening. It's always intensifying and the positivity, the bliss, the high vibration. This is a continual thing. And it's um, really an indication of you moving closer and closer, so to speak, um, to the higher dimensions, integrating, embodying the higher dimensions, the higher states of consciousness. Um, you are feeling as you are expanding, coming out of the limitations of the old perception of the false matrix, as you have a, an open mind, an open heart, um, you are expanding and therefore able to hold more of this light and joy and Again, this is all about harmony, the sun, you're both glowing, there's so much success here, growth, healing. But spirit, if you've been in a pause recently, it was because you needed to integrate more of this. I mean, everything has increased so much, so much excitement, so much euphoria, euphoria so much energetic intimacy. You needed to both integrate this. So there's been somewhat of a pause. Now you've integrated it. And now this is like spirit pointing back to source. It's time you're going to be able to focus more on each other. And uh, this bliss. What's really going on? Spirit need you to know right now. Strength. Wow, and the Nine of Cups. An infinite bond. You strengthen each other so much because you really connect each other to the infinite. Your union is that portal to your soul family, to God. It's like a direct link in consciousness, like you're consciously aware, you feel it so, so powerfully. I mean, before you met each other, there was a lot of murkiness, there was a lot of fog, a lot of illusions still, like you're both still identified with the mind which has been hijacked all of our minds have been hijacked in this false matrix um this de deception of our perception you know deceiving our perceptions limiting us keeping us imprisoned by gaslighting everyone you know telling everyone what reality is and that isn't reality it's a limitation a severe limitation with each other you know each other from source. Love, the only real thing, the most, therefore the most powerful force, and nothing can stand in the way of that. Love, it creates divine shake-up. It can 
blast through any sort of density and it has and it's represented by the explosion of bliss you are both so strong now because you are anchored into the higher levels of consciousness knowing you are indestructible feeling not just knowing that spirit is all around you and protecting you feeling that embodying that you are that strength you are that indestructible nature. This is you working together as a team in partnership to tame each other's negative thoughts, negative or, you know, counterproductive patterns and tendencies, but also teaching each other to, you know, not beat yourselves up about it. Everyone who decides to incarnate here knows that they're going to fall into the trap of unconsciousness, amnesia, forgetting who we are. And that's why you decided to meet, to remember again. Everything is about to strengthen, deepen. There's magic in the air. It's intensifying. You're both just glowing, this sun energy. You're glowing out your truth. You're being these light workers. You're so needed. Like the universe needed you to meet, to really wake each other up because you are both this very, very powerful portal where this direct communication energy from the higher dimensions from God emanate through your hearts, your joy. Nine of cups. This is so much self-esteem. Look how proud he looks. This is your divine inheritance. All of these cups are you owning who you really are. You both owning how amazing you both are. All of the incredible things you've achieved through being so loving, so generous, so mature, so intuitive, knowing how to trust your intuition. All of these cups represent all of these different ways in which you are both incredible because you're so deeply connected with the divine with your true selves you're both very psychic intuitive very in tune with energies look at all his like buttons here they look like these, these pentacles again abundance and all of this gold here this gold, golden energy is, I'm hearing bringing in the golden age, but also it's just both of your sovereignty. You're both sitting on the throne of your sovereignty. You're like the king and queen in the tarot, your true nature. This is all shining through. You're both becoming very apparent of who you really are because the light, the love is so powerful, so strong, so bright within this union that uh, it, that's becoming more and more of all you can see. The light, the truth, the love, your worth. This light is shining on the shadow, the illusions that once really dampened you both down held you down in shame and self-blame, self-criticism, self-judgment, all those illusions. That is how they hijack um, our perceptions by making everyone feel a lot of shame and therefore disempowered. This is the personal empowerment returning to you both so much. Let's look at some oracle cards. Sorry, I'm feeling drawn to these cards that are over here. Let's shuffle some energy into these cards a little bit first. 
because I've not used these cards in a long time. What does spirit need you to know right now? What's really going on? Hmm. Be your best self always. I'm telling you. You are both so happy. You are glowing with all of this self-esteem. You feel the deepest level of wholeness and fulfillment because through each other, through this union, through this path, you are able to express the deepest, best, you know, highest version of yourselves, the highest timeline. This highest timeline is that path you're both moving, moving down that unity consciousness. You just, you're both so, so deep, okay? You're so connected with the infinite that you felt like this world is very shallow. I don't mean that condescendingly, but you felt like the vibration is so dense you felt trapped, you felt suffocated in it because you couldn't be your best expression. You couldn't express yourself to the deepest levels of your being because there was nothing really connecting you because you and your person, I see you like the plug and the socket or the right key in the right lock but the, let's use the plug and the socket analogy you are that perfect fit and you bridge the gap you come together and you create that electricity you can create that flow of the divinity the divine the infinite flowing through your veins flowing through your system your souls your bodies and you are lighting up you're coming to life. The lock and the key, opening the door, opening that portal to the heavens. With each other, you're just thriving so much. You feel so much wholeness. This wholesomeness is restoring you both. It's healing all of your cells, all of your being, the, the wholeness, the feeling of wholeness, the feeling of completion. Because there were many areas of you both before you met that were dormant or stuck in the subconscious or hidden. They were like cobwebs, you know, so to speak, in these dusty corners of your souls. Because there was nothing, there was nothing deep enough to fully plug you in so that this light is circulating throughout your entire being. So every aspect of yourselves are coming to life, are alive now. You feel so alive. This is why you felt so heavy. There was a lot of heavy areas within your energies, within, yeah, within your energies. Because um, there weren't the right conditions for this full awakening, for this full revival until you've met each other. Now you are glowing, you are moving rapidly along this path of ascension, you're excited, energised because you are able in this beautiful union with each other and God and the soul family to be the best version of yourselves always, you, you're, you feel that wholeness within yourselves. Because you felt, you also felt like there was a lot of gaps, like a lack of love. Everyone feels abandoned in this world, okay? Because it's like we're abandoning our true soul selves. We're abandoning our consciousness when we decide to incarnate here with the amnesia. Everyone feels abandoned, lost. They're trying to find their way back home to consciousness, to wholeness. Um... So this wholeness is, the love is able to 
flow into all of those areas of yourselves that felt unseen, unloved, pushed into the back of your subconscious, areas of yourselves that you felt shame and didn't want to look at subconsciously, so you denied those aspects of yourselves. Now you're, you know you're so lovable. You know that you don't have to be perfect. That's also how they hijack our perception and fill everyone with shame by making us believe that we're failing because we should, in quotation marks, be perfect in terms of, you know, society's ideation, is that a word, of um, idealism, of perfection, which is all ego-based anyway. Now, you both know, it's, it, you just feel it, you know it, you are that love, so you know that you're completely lovable, so you're no longer so afraid to look into your shadow side, because now you can observe your shadow side from a higher perspective and know that that shadow isn't the real you. It's a lot of pain, it's a lot of wounds, it's a lot of that old self-criticism that wasn't again an ego thing wasn't the reality of who you really are so now you can um, you're looking at yourselves loving yourselves through the eyes of love having the true perception to dissolve the illusions you're able to look at the shadow and see it for what it is and knowing it's not you Bountiful harvest. It's your time. You are in the perfect frequency, the perfect balance, the perfect flow. This dance with the infinite. This dance with the truth. To be able to align with and receive this bountiful harvest. This is your divine inheritance. This is you receiving that which has been kept from you. From everyone, it just says 2222. Through hijacking our perception, it cuts us off from our divine inheritance, our, basically our true nature, which is always oneness, bliss, peace, self love, joy. I'm telling you, you are like the plug and the plug socket, the, the perfect fit to allow that electricity, that truth to flow through your veins. This is the bountiful harvest you are receiving and it's flowing through your veins and emanating out of every pore, <laughs> out of every aspect of you. More and more and more as this love continues to flow through you and continues to heal you both. Bountiful harvest. This is that golden age. This is... This consciousness that's helping uplift the world, bringing more and more peace to this world by people being able to snap out of the illusion and see the illusion for what it is. And once you see the illusion for what it is, it has no power over you. Wow. Acceptance of love. You're able to receive this love. This is you, the divine lovers, entwined as one. The, the, you and your person are so powerful, especially together as one in this way. You are these trees. I always see like the branches and all the leaves are your receptors to the higher dimensions and then you're bringing this down, embodying it. it you are these conduits. You are these vessels through which source can ground into this earth is so powerful acceptance of love the another way they hijack everyone's perceptions to keep this world dense and dark is by keeping us from accepting love again because of shame we don't feel worthy of love 
We don't accept ourselves. We don't remember who our true selves are. If we watch the news, which I recommend you don't, it's 99% doom and gloom and all about how humanity is so evil and so bad and pursue it, um, skew, sorry, it skews our perception. <laughs> They want to keep us, I'm seeing like a radio, they want to keep us on a bandwidth or they want to keep us on a channel of negativity, um, low vibration, so we can't see. I mean, that's why they've invented all of this TV and social media and everything, but now people are waking up, so there's so much positivity being fed through all of this social media which they didn't anticipate would happen um, the power of love is dissolving all of this illusion so what else is really going on between you both, what do you need to know right now? are opening you decide rewards that's all the abundance coming in wild Khan the portals open that's why we're seeing a lot of chaos in this world this is a desperate attempt to try and regain control and increase fear exponentially so that people stay asleep it's like they're trying to counteract this awakening by going to even more extremes but the more extreme fear that we feel the more we can't stand that energy and then our souls naturally look for salvation when we can't stand when we can't stand that much suffering something innate within us brings us closer to the divine we search for peace when we can't stand the suffering we want peace more than anything it motivates us to find peace so we find it when we feel out of control when we feel like we have no, have no control our dna there's something the memories within our dna gets us to look at a higher power something deeper something beyond us and that is what brings us closer to God, brings us more into consciousness. So it's actually speeding up the awakening even more in this world. And again, there's so much more communication these days available that all of this light is circulating. It's like all of this communication is the veins and now the light is flowing through all of those veins, getting to everyone, to awaken everyone. Your life is a canvas. Again, this is a blank slate, a blank canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. You and your person and many in a collective are realizing that we are these co-creators with the divine. We're remembering who we are, what power we hold. A lot of dark energy tries to keep people that are empaths disempowered they don't want you to remember or know the power that you hold, which is the power of love, the power of consciousness. So there's, again, a lot of that gaslighting, hijacking your perception to keep you blinded from your power and feeling disempowered, feeling like the victim, feeling helpless. This is backfiring, though. It's a time of awakening. Everyone or, you know, a lot of people 
you can really powerfully feel this. It's no coincidence that you and your person met in the 3D when you met. You, you are these way showers to help usher in this consciousness. And so now it's like you and your person and the collective, um, those that are really powerfully awakening, it's like you're at this zero point again. You're at this place of consciousness where you and your person, you know that you can decide. It said you decide, doors are opening, you decide what to put on that canvas. Basically, you're deciding what to fill your mind, your energy and your heart with, your perception. You have that ability to see beyond the illusions, the deceptions, you can feel beyond that. You feel the bliss. You feel that wholeness, the, the power of the love, the truth. And it's washing, it's circulating through your veins. And um, you are, this is how you are empowering yourselves. You are putting beauty, bounty, bliss onto that blank canvas this is what you're creating for yourselves now this connection this beautiful union just makes it all a lot easier to be able to do that because you're just so jo joyous within your union within this experience this journey so you're both powerfully doing the healing work and you're being those observers observing your thoughts the old patterns the old beliefs that aren't serving you that bring you suffering or strife or heaviness you're clearing that out you're creating the blank canvas and putting beauty and so much positivity and that is how you're both being open and receptive to receiving more because whatever you focus on is what you manifest more you bring more you embody more of that and so because uh You've had this divine help. You've met each other. It's so blissful. It's so exciting. It's made it easier to for you to be in that high vibration. It's amplifying that high vibration. It's expanding you both. It's making the path easier. It's making the path quicker of this ascension. Everything's speeding up. The courageous peony. I, I all see this as the heart chakra opening up. You are opening these portals. You are both daring to open your hearts because you know that you're so loved. You're no longer hiding away so much and feeling imprisoned by your own fears. You're free, spontaneous, expressive. And again, you're observing your wounds from a higher perspective um, from a higher version of yourselves and so you're knowing that you can handle if you get hurt um, you know it's just going to be a bruise to the ego you know your true self is totally lovable you're not going to take it as badly or it's not going to crumble you you're not going to be heartbroken when you're this connected with the divine as in, I mean that as in you could be heartbroken, but it's not going to destroy you. It's becoming less and less convincing, that pain, that suffering, those those old wounds, because that's this false matrix and how it seeped into your being like it has with everyone's, the unconsciousness. You and both knowing how loved you are by the divine, by God. And this connection is... a. Uh, uh, clear and powerful message to make you both realize that multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen you are both hiding away so much under the weight of all of that fear anxiety lack of self-belief this is all changing you're letting you're allowing yourselves to be seen as you are shining out your light and you're expanded in that way. Whatever you give out, you receive back. This is how you're receiving this bounty. So much more as well. Everything is increasing. You're daring to open your heart. So you are receiving love back. So much more. It's so powerful.
what is really going on in your connection and on your journey what do you need to know right now from spirit traveling lightly simplifying your life this is why you have the blank canvas throwing a lot of unconsciousness old beliefs that were holding you back into the trash got the is it a mandolin i'm I'm clueless when it comes to music. I don't know how to read music or anything. <laughs> but um, this is you following your bliss, traveling lightly, ascending, walking towards more of this light and love and joy, embodying all of this. This is why the past becoming more beautiful. This is you and your person in the new earth. Um, like the timelines are splitting. Those that are remaining in the unconscious old belief systems of deception. And those that are awakening. You're moving like poles apart. Travelling lightly. And wondrous universe. Yeah, look, you're walking in beauty. You're seeing the miracles of the infinite. This is why your connection is so blissful, okay? You are in the higher dimensions. State, it's a state of consciousness within you right now. The wondrous universe. I'm telling you, you are painting beautiful scenes upon that canvas of your mind there's no room for all of that junk the old thoughts obviously it the healing happens over time i'm not saying that you should be shaming yourself if there's still some darkness you know naturally it's going to take time for all of this buried stuff to come up i mean <laughs> In this world, in society, everything and everyone is so repressed, okay? It's like the blind leading the blind. There's so much unconsciousness in terms of unconscious wounds stuck in everyone, in the back of everyone's mind. It's become calcified and so dense that naturally people, n no one knows how to look into that until... The universe knows it's the right time for individuals to awaken and then everything becomes abundantly clear. There's a divine timing for everyone, okay? Obviously we can speed up the time of awakening through our own decisions in life, what direction the light or unconsciousness but there is a divine timing. It was you and your person's time to really deeply awaken. I keep seeing this. I've put these cards back down. I keep seeing these light bulbs above this person's head. So I'm really, I feel like I'm supposed to look at this message here as well. Because to me, this is awakening, enlightenment, that electricity that's turned the light bulbs on <laughs> in both of your mind to create an ego death. And enlightenment, the opening of the crown chakra, ambition and self expression. It's number 11. Very divine number, gateway, portal, ambition and self expression. Again, you can just express yourself so much more because you're understanding who you are as well. There was confusion in the past ambition you are both creating so much with that blank blank canvas you are creating you are manifesting this wondrous universe you have these bright ideas is what i'm hearing from spirit and this is you both putting light into everything that you are doing to help the consciousness look he's holding whatever this is it, again it's making me think of the branches of the tree that open receptivity to the divine, the genius of the divine. These bright ideas, someone's got some sort of bright idea, this is a confirmation that it's going to be a success.
narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Let's clarify. Mm. Seven of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, tread thoughtfully. Again, it's you being asked by the divine to be conscious of these steps these decisions these directions you're going in the thoughts you're having tread thoughtfully because there's a lot of opposition in this world in this false matrix trying to narrow trying to dampen everyone down again trying to because you're expanding right i'm seeing like these this path is like the neurons in your brain expanding in terms of expanding in consciousness so that's why they're trying to amplify this fear or anything to or distractions anything to bombard you with being in the cold in the dark in um difficult times difficult thoughts being left out in the cold they want you in the cold in the darkness in the shadow again not in the light through distractions, through chaos, this is trying to knock you off your feet. They're trying to narrow the neurons in your brain, get you having these narrow ways of thinking, narrow mindedness. But you and your person are becoming so conscious that this is having less hold on you. Like I said, when, when you see the light, when you see the truth, fear and the way they use fear to try and manipulate everyone, it doesn't hold any power over you anymore. Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles, you're both planting these positive seeds in your mind, in your energies. This is that sovereignty, the abundance the truth, the light from the universe, planting this in your minds. A lot of this is through this divine connection. It really sparks both of your imagination, like these um, thoughts, fantasies. Again, fantasy, we're, we're told fantasy and imagination is just that, you know, just thoughts that your head's in the clouds, you know, but... Um, it's all to do with this law of attraction, whatever you fantasize about, think about. Because fantasies is like thoughts plus desire. And you're having these powerful soul desires, thoughts and soul desires. And it is manifesting. It's grounding. It is embodying your dreams coming true. We had the nine of cups, right? That is your dreams coming true. Grounding. You are embodying the truth. What are you embodying here? Joy and delight. Opening your heart and your minds to joy. And you're free. That's what they don't want you to know. How to become conscious. How to come out of the chains of fear they use to try and control us all joy and delight you're moving into okay so i'm going to finish this reading with a ruby oracle card it's going to be a very powerful message from spirit what do you really need to know right now what is really going on and what is spirit's advice to you blessing of al hakim Number 40. Blessing of Al Hakim. Sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is opinion. Bewilderment is vision. The gift of wisdom. The blessing of Al Hakim gurgles up from your heart. 
Her blessing is evoked by life, like the laughter of a babe joyfully responding to the playful tickle of the mother's hand. Wisdom can make divine sense of anything, especially of that where logic is blinded. How I revere the blessing of al Hakim of wisdom, for she is precious and welcome to me now and always, the dear friend who brings me such peace. A blessing of divine wisdom of al Hakim is being ministered to your soul, watched over by Rumi himself. This is soul medicine. It is a spiritual gift of healing, prophecy, insight and a capacity to surrender any impatient claim for what you cannot yet have. As you receive this gift, this blessing which happens at a soul level, your attitude to life becomes more curious, open, still and receptive. You no longer have to drive the unfoldment of your desires into form. You rest in assurance that your daily application and effort is enough, and so is your surrender. Mental anguish is soothed, and you are able to accept the, unfathom the unfathomable nature of divinity in its expression of itself as life. You become comfortable with the reality that the price of being closer to the divine is the giving up of your need to always understand. From this place of increasing stillness, great activity will flow. You shall become capable of being the surrendered vessel to the guiding divine hand and truly get truly great contributions to the human soul evolving can occur through you. So much will simply emerge, erupt, pulsate and emanate out of you, and yet you will feel within as though you are doing nothing at all, even while so much is happening through you. Such holy paradox shall become your daily experience. You may feel unexpectedly, perhaps, that in some ways your vision for your life and purpose, your divine passion, is clearer than ever before, and in other ways completely unknown to you, a discovery yet to be made. That is as it should be. Wisdom bestows upon us the sane capacity to work with the opportunities that are right before us, to release situations and circumstances that have passed, and to allow the future to take its shape according to the ineffable timing of life itself. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. If you are uncertain about an issue in your life, be at peace. There is divine healing that can occur most readily in the unknowing. Follow the sacred honouring ritual and know that all is indeed well, beloved soul. Perhaps you are journeying very deep indeed, and your allegiance to your intellectual mind is softening in favour of allegiance to your heart knowing. You may find yourself craving different company with different interests, or finding the world of opinions and debate rather less to your liking, and the worlds of creative expression more nurturing and nourishing to your essence. If this is the case, this oracle comes as confirmation to trust in the changes you feel within, in any and all ways, no matter how insignificant or dramatic they may seem. Know that they are seedlings of a, no of a new way that shall grow from one step into an entirely new and more sacred orientation in your life. You will not necessarily have any idea how that will happen or what it will look like. This matters not. The acorn becomes the oak because that is its innate destiny. It happens without any active participation, apart from a willingness to grow through life. So it is with the precious blooming now happening within your soul. To know less can bring the greatest gift and blessing of all. To be able to love and therefore live more freely. This oracle also comes with special guidance to bring you peace. Look to the old ways, to the ancient wisdom teaching that runs as one vein of life, giving love through all traditions. The old wisdoms teach of cycles, of timing, of letting go to allow for new life to happen, and of the greater intelligence and scheme of life to which we must surrender if we are ever to know even a moment's peace. The fire in your belly is a beautiful aspect of you. Just let it be the breath that swirls around and through the heart that ignites it, not the passing huffing and puffing of the impatient mind. 
For when the fire in the belly is fanned by the breath of the heart, you shall have peace and dynamic movement, restful stillness and soul-inspired action all at once. You shall become one with the living holy paradox and the healing power of your love shall know no bounds. So here is the sacred honouring ritual. Say aloud, I call on the divine presence that loves me unconditionally and I surrender into your wisdom. Bless me now with the ability to accept your grace, your bounty and your gift of my life in all its mystery. Help me learn and grow that I may realise the love that lies within all, including my own being. May I dwell in the loving mystery of sacred compassion. I call upon the wisdom of the ancient ones, those who love me unconditionally and know truth. May your power and knowledge calm my mind and ignite my spirit so that I may be one with love, empowered in peace and purpose. So be it. Rest, you have completed your sacred honouring ritual. So I really, really hope this has resonated with you in a very deep way. If it has, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.